Aloha. I want to make a quick video and expand on the last few videos that I put together. Go into a little more details on what this new age transhumanism agenda is going to look like and expand upon some of the um, some of the uh, things that are involved with it and how it all fits up and how, how it fits together and how it's being sold to us subliminally, how it's being manipulated um, right under our noses, how they're going to take stuff that is real, take the essence of spirit, take the essence of understanding, take stuff that you can understand like sacred geometry and uh, basically just commercialize it. So they're going to take Oh, I gotta sneeze on. <sighs> I can't sneeze. Anyway, basically, they have to um, they have to invent a new version, a new religion, and they have to manipulate people to love it, and they have to manipulate people to accept it. They have to create an idol, create a symbol, create a. Uh, a rally point they have to create the positive movement that will get people to uh, feel unified uh, but also still accept the 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 programs that are being sold by a system of control and manipulation that keeps people in power so they want to sell basically the two main things they got to box people into are uh, the religious people it's 95% of the people of the whole, the earth plane. And they got the science people who are basically uh, an atheist, atheistic version of reality, separating themselves from. So you have the people who have separated themselves from the Most High and the people who are supposedly connected to the Most High through religions, which is just another separation program when you factor in the church and all that other stuff. Which is, So you, when you really look at it, it's, does, it's they're both designs of instability, insecurity, separation, which leaks into the family structure, which leaks into the fact uh, of having and the reasons why you have slaves um, calling themselves in the American dream or slaves uh, calling themselves successful slaves calling themselves um, happy when it's really a self-destructive illusion people are very depressed and caught up in like uh, like having alcohol be legal having cigarettes be legal and not not necessarily just have that legal but to have cannabis and and mushrooms and ayahuasca and all this other stuff that is beneficial to um the individual and the the uh the collective as a whole to be criminalized so this is the separation program as a whole what they have to do is sell the new um they have to unify everybody and they're going to unify everybody with god so this is why you see or the idea of God, uh, their idea, their limited perspective version of God. And they're going to sell these um, stories that have been sold to you through Hollywood, through subliminal messaging. Um, they have these billboards all over the place pinning um, creationism up against evolution. And uh, they're priming people. So they're they're going to come out with the fact that the evolution uh program was actually a theory they're going to talk about all this stuff which is probably why they released the flat earth information on the mainstream with neil degrasse tyson and tila tequila and all this stuff and they'll probably institute it into this new version of our reality so it can make them look like the the good guys because they got to make they got they've already made religions the church the bad guys they already know that the scientists are the bad guys they are they set them up they are the the actual scientists um, but they're they're gonna split these groups up as bad guys so they can create good guys this is why they created all these movies in Hollywood with superheroes and all this stuff to to make you play this blue and red game um, to maintain their their purple royalty uh, and keep that money that fiat currency system rolling and um sell you another another idol and um 
also throw everything under the bus and just kind of co-opt everything just like they do with everything they take everything and sell it back to you and you you just have to buy and go with it because that's what the status quo is that's what all your peers are doing that's what everything is all about because they've basically played everybody they played everything out they they bought and sold everything and everybody and um everything that has some kind of essence like this flower of life symbol which is going to be their their rally point they've seen the flower of life all over um they they put it out in your face too like it's found in egypt found in china found in south america found all over the world um and they're going to use this as the rally point to sell in this new version of of uh of god religion and science and they'll probably kind of put it into this whole uh, keep the big bang and call it like a quantum god or every everybody is a mathematical god and all this stuff and I'll go into explain this in a second but um, yeah this whole this symbol once I saw this symbol because this is the seed of life which is just a zeroed in version of, or zoomed in version of the flower of life um, this symbol once this symbol appeared on this so called international flag of earth and put on this um this astronaut lady's uh arm with this whole this is this is a whole setup you know they're using this it's part of their agenda so it doesn't take away from the essence of what that information is within those those uh those circles it doesn't take away from that at all unless you give it to that and give that, that energy but uh, once you understand it you'll see um, the 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 energy doesn't originate with these individuals who utilize this magic the energy exists as a whole on its own um, but they're using this to make an idol so they can have everybody rally around and this is an easy thing to have people rally around because it's simple it's math these are just seven circles uh, the flower of life is just 19 circles and it's just going to represent or it's <clears throat> it's it's going to be sold to represent this this oneness agenda this uni unified agenda so they can um, use the back door to get out of um, having to answer for all of the bullshit that, that has gone within the colonial colonization of the entire earth plane the indigenous people the death and destruction that has been manipulated over and over again for profit to keep these people these what people are calling now the one percent and all this shit keeping people on the top the people the haves and the have nots um they want to pump out forgiveness on a on a collective scale this is where the New Age movement and the New Age community comes in, which is why they rationalize everything and they say, oh, those are those people. Oh, that's that journey. That's those, you know, this will all be handled uh, by the universe. The universe will provide it. You know, just use the law of attraction to get a Lamborghini and use the law of attraction to find your love of your life and, and tap into your manifestation and creation. And listen to Oprah, who's buying all these, these individuals like Eckhart Tully. So a good example of this is how how they're using the flower of life to sell in this new version of God is how Oprah has co-opted like Eckhart Tully. Like when you read Eckhart Tully's books, his information, he's talking about the present moment, the power of now and all this stuff like that fits in your world. But that's not the answer to the world and all this. That's not there is no answer. There are no answers to the world. This is just information that exists that can help you understand your reality and understand yourself understand your power understand your connections understand uh under and and more so understand and overstand your reality as a whole and not limit yourself to a linear frame of thought um so uh how they are uh how like Eckhart Tolle has been kind of brought into the the Oprah community to, to talk about this stuff, he kind of validates her existence, but she's still connected to Monsanto. That doesn't make 
Eckhart Tolle a, a bad guy or anything. His information is just what it is. The way he speaks is just who it is. He's just a dude. And that's it. Um, but if you start to worship these individuals like Oprah and Beyonce and all these people have been worshipped, that's when it starts to get weird. That's when it starts to get into another realm of interaction. And this is what they're going to do, what they've already been doing with this symbol. They refer to it as the flower of life. And it's already been around everywhere. It's a very simple design. Uh, it's a good rally point for them. And they can just take it and say, this is ours. And commercialize spirit. Commercialize math. Commercialize geometry. Commercialize uh, um, nature, in a sense, for their benefit. Because they need something for people to buy. This is why the flower of life has been slapped on everything and subliminally programmed in your face for so long um, without you even knowing it. Uh, and how they're also going to uh, just pretty much just buy people. It's just going to buy people and get people to uh, just be like, finally, I'm glad they found, you know, the oneness. And this is how they're going to get all this, these new age people to buy into this world um, so this is an example this is this is a spirit science and they they got TED talks on here they got just like that other collectively conscious that fake ass new age um, transhumanism agenda bullshit they sell you all this like posit so called positive information oh yeah this is all changing this is all good free energy you know solar this and and um, sustainable, you know, they used to like to use that word, sustainable living, now, all that shit. They use these these things. They're selling you. They got to sell you something positive because they've been selling you bags of shit for so long. And they got to co-opt this essence. They want everybody to turn into the, like this guy. Like they, they make these new superheroes. Like they want to turn you into a cyborg. They want to merge um, man with... Um, with technology so they can continue on to their pro on their process of uh, this transhumanistic agenda and keep the money system going keep the energy being funneled through uh, a control grid so they have to utilize the essence like stuff of like like sacred geometry so they can sell it to people so I'll get to uh, I'll get to that in a second. I just wanted to scroll through this TED Talks bullshit on this page to show you, just like on the other page, collectively conscious that this is this is how they're going to see. They got SpaceX right there, their new version of NASA and all this shit. Elon Musk. See, this is how they're going to sell. They got Iron Man in the background. This is how Marvel programs you. There goes that cur that CGI. Um, the, the Hollywood, Marvel, they sell you these idols so you can worship. And uh, the flower of life is going to be like the geometric version of a superhero that you can worship. <clears throat> and um, it's not what it's for. That's not what it represents. That's not what it's all about. Um, it's, it's just a, a, a thing. Like you wouldn't worship uh, any. It's an idol. So this is why they, 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 it's an idol if you turn it into an idol and that's how they're selling it. Um, they programmed you with Hollywood and um, these ass, athletes, <laughs> athletes, athletes, athletes and all these people with all this money system. They programmed you to uh, worship idols. So now that everybody's been primed to worship idols, they can now sell in. Um, this this um, quantum god and this uh, in order to for people to buy into it they have to explain it mathematically uh, so they want to sell in technology and they're probably going to utilize people like um, Nassim Haramine to uh, factor in um, however I don't know his theory of the the, the earth hurling through space and that whole uh, like super heliocentric model maybe they might go into the flat earth and talk about it from there maybe they might go into some hollow earth stuff and talk about toroidal fields I don't know exactly they can they can address this from every angle but I'm definitely seeing why I'm making this video right now they're using this they're going to idolize the flower of life 
instead of uh, um, to sell to sell the new age agenda instead of actually understanding it and um, all this other stuff. Um, like I said before, it doesn't take away from the essence of it. It's not like they invented it. Then it just exists, just like they co-opt everything else. Um, they, they, they're co-opting basic understandings so I want to read this real quick and go through this and share because this is an example of how I how I went through this understanding the new how the new age exists and what they're selling to people and how it how it maxes out and how it how it's designed to keep people from um, finding that true connection to th that true connection to uh, each other themselves um, and understanding the essence they just want to commercialize this shit so they're gonna sell it to you so here yeah so they're gonna sell you thoughts chakras sacred geometry a astral travel and ball it up into this An Atlantean history this Atlantean story and they've been priming the uh, priming you up with that even to in the 40s and 50s with the Sinbad movies, Sinbad going sailing to Lemuria and all that occult symbolism and all that stuff inside um, inside those old movies. So this program goes goes way back and they're just going to put it all in one thing and they're going to say sell it to you like most people don't realize that there's a very powerful connection between spirituality and science. All of our mi modern scientific fields are slowly but surely coming full circle and understanding a very cosmic connection between all things. Atoms, particles, plants, animals, humans, and galaxies all function under very similar patterns and principles of existence. And this is the pattern, the flower of life. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. It's on your astronauts. It's on your Kleenex. It's on your mattresses. It's on your it's on your weed. It's on your cannabis. This is all good, right? It's on your yoga mat. It's on Coldplay's album. On on the 50 on the 50 uh Super Bowl 50. Beyonce's dancing there with Coldplay and Bruno Mars. We're going to Mars with Bruno Mars with a head full of dreams. <sighs> Talking about an army of one. And this goes back to uh, uh, when I went in the army, they were, uh, it went from be all you can be to the army of one. So this is all that uni unifying thing. So they, I wouldn't be surprised if they... Uh, they try to sell in, like, change the whole military system to keep war going uh, or, or uh, unify. This is what they'll probably do. They'll probably, <laughs> they'll probably just uh, put all the, all the militaries into the United Nations uh, military to defend from terrorism. They're calling ISIS and random terrorism, random terrorists. The new new age agenda, <laughs> one hundred one. So, uh, so I'll just spitball here. They they came out with flat Earth, so they could um, talk about why there's a flat Earth flag on the United Nations, and then they'll sell in sacred geometry and the flower of life because you've already been conditioned with the Super Bowl, with Coldplay, with all this other shit in the United Nations or the international flag of planet Earth. So they'll they'll talk and uh, they'll talk about the flat Earth with Neil deGrasse Tyson and talk about uh, flat Earth with uh, all the people who haven't spoken about it that are on the outskirts who are too scared the celebrities the idols that you worship like on the outskirts of Tila Tequila and and um, uh, B O B and and they'll start magically just all of a sudden talking about this and that and then they'll start to talk about oh we understand it you know this is all about you know we need to reconnect with our spirit and all this other shit and and the the commercial spirit is what they're talking about so then I wouldn't be surprised if they start talking about Tesla stuff and and um, so called releasing this and whatever and 
Yeah, so, um, shit. Forgot where I left off, but hopefully that'll clear up some space on to finish this. Basically, I pretty much tapped on all the, the points that I wanted to make. Um, this, uh, this agenda is being subliminally programmed. Um, everywhere your Kleenex boxes sleep train sleep train Tempur-Pedic mattresses you're sleeping on this image you don't even a lot of people who don't know what the flower of life is and um, they're going to uh, ball up the, the, the bad guys and uh, sell in these good guys these are the these are what the good guys look like uh, your astronauts your people who smoke weed and all this other stuff your yoga people your Coldplay, your good celebrities, not the bad celebrities, your good celebrities. Uh, this is why the Marvel movies, Hollywood, all was all set up to create these superheroes and all this stuff. They've been subliminally programming you. So, yeah, they'll probably come out with the flat earth stuff and start talking about, you know, this and that. And um, it's all about sacred geometry and and just look at this we 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 promise we're we're good people we promise it's the right thing we uh this is what you should do here's free energy here's here's tesla stuff here's a new version of money here's this here's that uh here's a microchip you can put in your arm and be a cyborg you can access this and access that with this international money system you can put this flag on your on your front porch and be uh, a a, per, a human, uh, a citizen of the earth instead of a citizen of the nation. So this is probably what all this John Kerry breaking down all the border stuff is. Because they want to water everything down. They don't want to talk about um, the, the origins of uh, humanity. They don't want to talk about um, the essence of... Uh, the people, the indigenous people, the the melanated people, the the actual stories of of the people of this earth plane, and they want to throw all the old shit out of the way and just act like it doesn't exist or they were all just like um, Columbus did when he called everybody um, savages. So like they're doing the same thing now, but they're gonna sell it as something new. So this is just like the new version of. Um, of uh the um the crusades or the um spreading christianity and all that stuff they're going to spread this version of your reality <clears throat> mix in the new age mix in uh sacred geometry mix in uh a, a, an elemental understanding of your reality like the the basic elements the fire earth air water ether um that all fits inside of the flower of, flower of life. They'll probably sell it to you just like that. And, and make the foundation this Atlantean conspiracy um, history. So give you a new history that you've been primed for with all the movies and Sinbad movies and all that stuff. And talk about thoughts and chakras and channeling and male and female energy. Keys of our past. Flower of life dimensions. Meditation. Astral projection. The math of God. See, this is what it is. This is how they're going to sell sp the spirit with the math of God. And still keep uh, evolution. Still keep the Big Bang Theory. Still keep all these theories so they can sell the alien agenda. Which is just the, uh, the way to put the future out in front of you a little more. Um with uh, these <clears throat> probably releasing of this ufo technology and all this other stuff and just sell you a bunch of toys a bunch of bullshit and have you worship this this um these idols and 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 be distracted by all this information and not really understand it and understand the agenda that's being sold behind it people are going to love this new technology and all this bullshit and especially if they can understand um, intellectually like <clears throat> what the flower of life is and connected to like the origins of creations and spirit and simplicity and geometry and mathematics ooh all this stuff I mean cause I fell into this shit until I started to say hey this is there's something wrong with this this is not 
this is not connecting to um, like beyond it's not connecting with a lot of things in fact it's ignoring a lot of things and I need to find out what it's all about now it doesn't take away from the essence of understanding what your chakras are what what understanding the essence of dimensions in the flower of life and uh, the balance of male and female energy and and um, you know what what connecting to your spirit is it doesn't take away from all that stuff but um, when they turn it into a commercial, when they turn it into some fucking cartoon and some some put it on, slap it on some some astronaut who's been lying to you for however many years flag and then they, they slap it on some some cereal box or Kleenex box and um yeah, they're putting it on the Super Bowl. It's definitely being programmed to sell an agenda. It's all out there. So I just wanted to share this because this is this is very definitely part of it. Part of the trend now seeing formally firmly that it's definitely the transhumanism slash new age movement or agenda that is being sold. And uh they need to hold on to science, <clears throat> technology, um, control with energy. So they'll probably release some kind of version of free energy. Call it sustainable living and all this shit. They need to combat this so-called global climate shit that they've been planning on. This destruction program so they can sell this new version of your reality. Um, and uh, make you eat it up. And you've been subliminally programmed um, everywhere. Yoga mats all over the place. Super Bowl 50. Even if you haven't looked into any of this stuff, you already know what this symbol is. Your subconscious already knows. So I just wanted to share this because it, it hit critical mass today when I saw it. I, I mean, I seen it on the organic hand. Um... I've seen it on this before, and uh, about a week ago, I saw it on the sleep train mattress, and I was like, oh, God, I got to see what this, what what the hell is going on here, and then um, I, saw, I saw a few of these billboards talking about creationism versus evolution, and um, yeah, they're, um, they're very definitely moving towards selling this quantum God or this this um, merging of spirit with science God so you can all become one and uh, become a transhumanist and become an evolved human and merge technology with your organic humanity and and, and be a technological monkey that's what they're selling so they got to validate all their shit so they can keep their university systems open, keep their uh, their money monetary systems going in some kind of format, keep their whatever going in some kind of way. This is where the Bernie Sanders shit comes in to prime you for this this global change, which is just a fucking delusion. Uh, go after the bad guys, the bankers and all this other stuff. Still talk about the globe. Think about the globe and global warming and all this stuff um, so if they sell in the flat earth stuff and they say oh well, these are the good guys and those are very obviously the bad guys who still are trying to sell the globe yeah maybe that's how they're going to do it that's what it looks like from from this perspective and this is this is their rally point this this flower of life and um yeah, like I said, it doesn't take away from the essence of it, but they're very definitely selling it to you. It's going to be sold as an idol. Once it turns into an idol, that's it. It takes on a different, a different um, energy. So this idol worship, that's it. That's not what it's meant for. It's not what it represents. It's deeper than that. But they don't want to sell you deep deep layers of understanding they want to sell you this shallow shit so they can control you so in order to sell you something that seems deep 
they'll sell you something like this and this is what's going on so anyway it's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about really expand upon that that symbol being all over the place um, cuz it's on I I I connect with this symbol I know what this uh the flower of life is I know what this um energy is um and it's just basic understanding of your reality but that's not the limit of it that's not all of it it's deeper than that and it's not meant to be an idol like this it's not meant to be I slapped a, a UPC code on it like this. It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining me. If you uh, have anything to add as far as maybe you've seen this symbol on other stuff. Um, here and there. Has been commercialized to uh, yeah sell you this agenda. Then transhumanism bullshit, new age bullshit. And uh, please leave comments or uh, make your own videos. Talk about it. So thank you for joining me. Until next time, peace, love, and harmony.